Hello everybody and welcome back to BeamNG. We're jumping in today doing some custom scenarios. I thought we'd change it up a bit and instead of doing the basic scenarios that are there available to us, we'll make up our own. So that is what we're doing. We have the Vivas vehicle. I have no idea what the car this is. It's a little sedan. I thought it'd be kind of cool to start off with and see how badly this car can get smashed up with. Um, we are doing a little traffic accident that I've created. I'll take you around the corner and show you that. Uh, it's just down this main road. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to just do some fun stuff today. We're going to see how many cars we can smash into this little traffic accident that I've created. It's uh, got an ambulance, a fire truck, and a police car, and a few road barriers and traffic cones. And uh, a vehicle that's smashed into a pole. Uh, that's what emergency services are there for at the moment. So we're going to see how many cars we can, what type of cars we can smash into this accident. As you can see, all the cars are still there, which is fantastic. So this is kind of the little recreation that I've created. We've got one of the uh, fire trucks that I uh, spawned in. This is a custom fire truck that I've got just on the uh, site there. Uh, so we've got the ambulance here. This car's absolutely smashed up. He lost control and crashed into one of the signs here. You can see he's uh, a bit wrecked up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit behind, a little bit far back from this current position and set ourselves up just around the corner. So we've got a bit of a, a straight way to gain some speed. And we're just going to smash straight into the cop car and see how far we can go to we hit the ambulance or something like that. So uh, there's a bit of a straight part here. I guess we can start up here. Uh, there's a few corners, so we might even start off down the end of the street and just get ourselves a bit of speed. This might be a bit far, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to see how much speed we can gain. We might start off just about here in the middle here, line ourselves up with this sign and see how we go. Classic uh, number plane, kind of being, gotta love it. Now let's, let's go ahead and see how we go. Alright, this car does kick up pretty well. We're going up to 50 miles per hour. Um, I'm conscious of how we're going to go with these turns here. Traction-wise, not too bad. It does kick up. There's a lot of corners. Oh! <laughs> Dude. 70 miles an hour. Let's see how fast we can go. Oh, damn. We just smurdered that police officer. Absolutely smashed our stuff um he is dead without a doubt uh car wise absolutely ruined <laughs> that police guy took some damage as well by the looks of it um so i mean that surprisingly that uh, vehicle that was there before it hasn't been touched the police car though is absolutely ruined the fire truck and ambulance still are in a good condition uh the cone though has been flung i don't know where the cone even, i think the cone's tucked up under the, under the car i think uh, no, I don't know where that cone went. Oh, it's pushed over there against the police car. Uh, we took the barrier out and knocked that over, but not too bad to start with. We'll go ahead and reset everything and try this again. We did lose a bit of control on that corner. We might even move ourselves down a bit so we have a bit more control. Uh, we kind of lost it. We almost lost it on that corner to start with. So I'll say we're going to move the corner, move the car into a different position. We're a little bit closer so we have more control and hopefully we can get... A bit more speed but nonetheless we're gonna restart and try it again all right we are back once again uh we are going to start off on this red line and this is a good starting point i think just to get the spawn point and get some acceleration so we're gonna kick it off uh this car does get up to speed i must admit but when you take those sharp corners speed does decel just quite aggressively um i mean there's not a lot of time to accelerate we're gonna be pretty much around the same point again we're gonna go for a sudden impact damn <laughs> shit he is dead that, i don't know how the car is going to survive the car is absolutely crashed crashed there it is it's absolutely crushed uh, our car has sustained pretty much the same damage uh, than it uh, obtained last time i'll say this time i'm going to change it up we're going to aim for the fire truck and go into more of a diagonal position towards the ambulance uh, as if we're trying to avoid the impact or driving the wrong side of the road sort of thing but we're going to reset everything and try that again the wheel is, <laughs> is like in bent it's like bent up inside the car holy shit um, but pretty much the same damage from last time, except this is more side on impact. We did make it a bit further towards the blue car, so we're getting some progress. But I think this time we're just going to directly aim for the fire truck and see what damage we can uh, cause. So, now let's, we'll try again and restart everything. Alright, we're going to try this again. We're going to aim for the fire truck this time. I don't know how well we're going to go with this in terms of uh, this sort of impact. I'm very 
curious to see what damage we can cause to a large fire truck like this. It weighs a lot and has got quite a bit of reinforcement to the front. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to aim for it. Oh, shit. There's a... There's a... Oh, fuck. There's a traffic accident. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> we just flung the car. We just popped in an air, uh, air raider, I think. Air raider. An air raider? I don't know. We just popped something. Um, I don't know even... I don't even know how to move around in this thing. Um, let's see. The fire truck sustained quite a bit of damage. It even went close towards the ambulance. Wow, it didn't even cause much damage at all to the fire truck. There's a little bit of dent to the side of it, but other than that, I mean, the whole side's kind of dented. You need to look at it. My god, we just went flying. <laughs> but yeah, that pushed the fire truck towards the ambulance a bit better. I think we can go more in the diagonal approach, try that once more, and get ourselves some more of a diagonal approach. But my god, that fire truck is a tough cookie but we're gonna reset everything again give this one more shot all right we are going to try this once more see how we go with this and aim for a more of a diagonal approach as i've said so i really want to try and get this car up to 100 i don't think that's going to be possible this car i mean on a straight road we'll get there but so far we've seen the top of the 86 holy shit car oh damn <laughs> damn that just got absolutely annihilated I can't even English, but that is just... <laughs> Jesus! That was a much better impact. The ambulance has been pushed, and we are sitting on top of that car. That was a great impact. Holy shit. There is nothing left of that. That is on top of that blue car. That was an awesome impact, I must admit. That was fantastic. That is just... <laughs> that is destroyed. Now, we're going to try a different vehicle and give this more of a more of a thought. I think we're going to go like a larger, like a truck or something like that, or a van, and see what more damage we can cause. I really want to see this scene getting absolutely destroyed. So, but this car is on top of that truck. The wheel was underneath the truck. That is like how much of an impact that caused. The wheel just to fall off from that truck. But, Jesus, that was a good impact. We're going to try this again with a different vehicle and see how we go. All right, I decided to change it up with the Ram bus. I mean, I don't know what sort of damage we're going to cause. This has got like a rocket booster on the back of it. So this is... <laughs> this is going to be very interesting to see. My God, it is super loud. And it is flies around these corners. Oh, we're just going to... <laughs> that is dope. I, don't, I mean, we didn't even make it to the traffic accident. And we've already caused an accident ourselves. All right, we are going... This is just insane. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it there on a straight. Like, these corners really throw us off. Alright, I'm keen to see what sort of damage this is going to cause this accident. <laughs> Holy shit! We just creamed everything. <laughs> the bus is annihilated. I can't even English. That is just one heck of a scene. Oh my god. Everything is just destroyed. What the fuck? <laughs> the car is so... What the fuck? <laughs> it's got, what just happened? The police car's got rocket boosters. <laughs> what just happened? This is amazing. I, I don't even know what... I think the booster fell off and went flying onto that police car. <laughs> just went launching. All right, we're going to try this again. We're going to reset everything. Um... And we're going to pick a different vehicle. We might just go like an ordinary bus and see what damage we can cause with the normal bus. But that was just too funny. Right, we're going to try a different scene and see how we go. All right, we've got an ordinary bus. This is just a normal city bus that we're going to try. This is a lot slower than the Ram bus that we previously had. So I'm going to see how we go with this. Uh, the game volume is so much louder now with this bus. Like, I can't even English right now because it's that loud. We're only capping off at like 40 miles an hour, so this is going to be a very slow impact. I'm gonna aim for the, We're gonna try and clip the front of the police car. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, the bus at Surprise Lake is, is still operational. Like, it's still kind of moving. Not really. That was a massive impact. Uh, not as much of an impact as the other vehicle, uh, the Ram bus, but that was kind of very, like, a anticlimactic sort of impact like there wasn't really much excitement to that so uh, i'm going to try a different vehicle 
and see what else we can use. <laughs> I thought we'll change it up and try the Patriot uh, truck. This thing looks amazing. I absolutely love the eagle on the side of it. That looks really cool. I wonder if that's a horn. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. We're going to see what impact we can cause with this truck. Give a bit of an impact sort of to the side. Uh, or to the front of the ambulance or something like that. I don't know. We're just going to try and destroy the ambulance. That's my main objective. So we're just going to go crashing into this thing. We're going to go more on that side approach that I said earlier. Damn. Holy <laughs> shit, we flipped the fire truck. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah. I mean, screw you, first responders. I mean... The truck is still fine, actually. Like, there's not any... In there's hardly much damage to the front. I mean, it's a bit pushed in. We lost the rubber of the tire, but... Okay, now we're stuck in the barrier. Oh, no, we're still moving. Coins like, stuck in the wheel. <laughs> okay, we're still good. We can uh, cause a bit more damage. Fuck you, police. Yeah, not bad. Um, I'm surprised we flipped the fire drug. Holy shit, but... Not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I reckon we'll try a different sort of... I'm going to create a different sort of scenario and see what else we can uh, cause. Uh, a bit more destruction. But this has been fun at the moment. So we're going to see what else we can uh, make and uh, we'll get straight back into it. All right, guys. I thought I would change it up a bit and do something a little bit crazy. We have this very old style police car and uh, we are on a runway. And down the very end of the runway, what I have is a b25 now this is a different uh one uh, one button uh, what i've got here is this bad boy uh, i've got this set up with a ramp so we're gonna see how good this is going to be i don't know what the button is to change between the two vehicles but <laughs> we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna accelerate we're gonna activate the siren it's the old uh, styled siren so this is going to be interesting to see what we do I love this. Fucking screeching. Up to 70 miles an hour with this old thing. I mean, 80 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour. Damn. So we're going to hold ass and see what sort of damage we can uh, cause to this uh, plane. So we're going to go full on accelerate into it and see what sort of damage we can cause. I feel like we're just going to fly straight over it. Let's see what happens. Yep, we just flew straight over it. <laughs> there we go. Straight into the water. The siren's still going. <laughs> Sorry, another water. Gotta love it. Alright, we're gonna get back over and try this again. Alright, we're just gonna keep the uh, light on. We're not gonna. Jeez, screech much. Oh. Uh, I think we're gonna have to slow down the car a little bit when we get close to the ram so we can get more of a straight on impact with the plane. I mean, 104 miles per hour for this thing. It's not bad. 111. Okay, this car really does move, considering it's an old sort of vehicle. That is a very, very interesting camera angle. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot. <laughs> Straight over. Wow. Just the start on this car takes... Oh, my God. It screeches like it's... My granny. I don't know what to mean. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. We're going to try and slow down. Uh, I'm just too excited to hold the accelerator down. So we're going to just try and level off the speed a bit. And get more of a, uh, a slow sort of approach. Try and angle the car down. Break down a bit here. Okay, it still went straight over into the fence. Damn, it just split itself open. Hey, that, uh, that didn't really work as I thought. We need something taller, but I guess we can go at a slower end. A slower speed, I think is what we're going to have to try and aim for. Or maybe get closer, because we're using the entire threshold here of the runway. And we've got the ramp directly towards the end of this uh, threshold, so we have to slow down a bit. Like a lot. This is going to be a very anticlimactic sort of attempt. We're going to aim for like the cockpit. There we go, right over the wing. I don't need any damage. Try and get ourselves more of a smack on impact. Whatever that even means. We might even go into a different camera perspective. Uh, let's go with this view. Look at us go down the runway. I race the speed. It does well considering like 120 miles per hour is not bad for this old little thing. You would not expect it. I mean, it doesn't. it's not quite legit. We're going to break. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, we're gonna sit on top of the on the wing of the plane. That's good. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we're ready for takeoff. I don't know how this is possible, but it is. And um, oh, it's even got a gun. That's kind of cool. What if we like shoot the car as it's trying to do the ramp? That would be kind of interesting. I wonder if that's possible. Anyway, we're gonna try this again with a different vehicle. See what damage we can cause. I thought we'd change it up a bit and use the uh, police transport van. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to go with this. I love the number plate. It's replicating to Connor B to the 147. Uh, that's my unit number for DOJ. Gotta love it. Uh, so we're going to use the prisoner van. I don't know how we're going to go with this. Being a slower speed van, uh, we should be able to get a bit more impact uh, towards the plane. So I'm hoping we can aim for it a little bit better. We could even go for the, the rear tail, maybe. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to slow down a bit. There we go. Just straight out, skim straight over the wing. I don't even have to get a little bit closer. We might have to change the spawn location to a little bit closer for us. And let's activate some lines. What size do we have? Not too bad. The lighting package is pretty basic. You just got the old style light on the light bar on the roof. And that's pretty much it for this van. There's really not much to it. Uh, you would think you'd have some more deck lighting to the rear on some like grill lights to the front, but other than that, it's pretty basic. We're gonna slow ourselves down a lot. I wanna sit at like maybe 50 miles an hour, you know, you're just chasing someone next to me. Oh shit, there's a ramp and there's a plane. Holy shit, that's uh. Wow, this plane is almost indestructible. The van is absolutely ruined. I don't know how we're gonna damage this plane, but that's my goal is to try and just try and. Try and destroy it. So let's see what we can do. All right, so if the old van's not going to do it, I'm sure the sheriff vehicle will. Uh, this is almost like going back to the military up in this bitch. But we're going to give this thing a crack. What sign we got? The same sign. It's not really interesting. Uh, we're going to use this thing. <laughs> this little jeep. I don't know if this is going to be more effective than the van or not. But we're going to give it a shot and hope for the best. My goal is to try and absolutely annihilate this, van, uh, this plane if we can. So that is the main objective. So far, we haven't been, we haven't been really effective at doing this. We might have to like spawn the plane so it's like hovering in the air, which doesn't make any sense at all because planes don't hover. But let's see what sort of impact we can do. Go for the side. We just went over it. Holy shit! <laughs> that thing is squished like a pancake. All right, I decided to change the spawn location. Let's get activate some lights. We are going to start from this position. This gives us a little bit of speed to get up to speed whatever that means and we're going to try and get a better impact here to the plane that is a much better impact holy shit are we going to land it are we going to land it no we didn't we lost the tire though but uh that is good we're going to try this again this position is a lot better you know it takes a little bit of time for this uh, jeep to get up to speed as you can see we're going up to 50 now but let's try and get a impact on the wing if possible that's gonna do it Trace the cop here. what the fuck <laughs> how is this plane not destroyed I don't know what sort of impact, or what sort of vehicle, rather, we have to take to completely destroy this plane, but it, it is indestructible. Like, I couldn't be bothered resetting the plane. This is just... I'm just going to throw whatever I can at this plane at this point, because that is impossible for a plane to not be damaged like that. So, it is starting to smoke, rather. You can see the bit of smoke there. We're going to go inside here, try... There we go. Okay, we got some dents to the cockpit. Right into the propeller. <laughs> so I thought going on with the police theme, we're going to use this unmarked uh, suburban sort of style car. Um, see how we go with this one. See if we can get any more damage. This has got a ram bar to it and it's a little bit faster. We should be able to get some more damage to it. Or we're just going to completely miss. And yep, that's good. But we'll try this again. Hopefully we can get some more damage here. There's only lights to the front, which is a bit random. Uh, I don't know why there's none to the back, but whatever we're gonna go for the tail this time there we go okay we got some damage we spun the plane around but that's about it but the car, <laughs> the car is absolutely smashed uh that is how we do it folks and uh let's go for the front we're gonna go once more with this uh car we're gonna activate some lights and sirens why not we're gonna go to the front of the plane and see what damage we can cause to the front there we go and we are <laughs> We are stuck in the plane. I don't know how that's even possible. We are literally wedged in between the cockpit and the... 
I don't... <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. I want to know if we can fly the plane like this. And let's uh, see what we can do here. Let's go over here and switch to you. Let's see if we can try this, actually. No, I don't know how to steer with this. Uh, so rudder is right and left bumper. Does the plant because we only got one engine as well. There's really not. This, <laughs> we don't have a lot of takeoff speed because the car is literally wedged inside the uh, plane. We can do we can do a 360 though. <laughs> we can. Do we're literally doing a 360 with a police car in us. I don't know how that's even possible, but we cannot go straight, which is frustrating. I don't even know if we can if we can take off from that. Holy shit! <laughs> the propeller. What the fuck? Dead. Whoever's out there fishing is going to be absolutely destroyed. Okay, we're gonna try this again with a different car and see what we can do. Oh, that's uh, one way of doing it. It's, um, can we fly with a plane like this? So we're moving away from the police cars and going to this sporty looking little thing with some gold tires and we'll see what damage we can cause with this. I don't think a car like this is going to cause a lot of damage. Holy shit, we just skimmed off the roof. Dead, absolutely dead. Uh, let's try this again with this car. Alright, this car has some gut in it. As you can see, straight up to 38 miles per hour. Not too bad. We're going to go for the wing sort of impact here on the side of the engine. The plane's like, nope, see you, bitch. I think it's time we change things up and show this plane who is boss. We're going to try it with this motherfucker and see what damage we can cause with this massive thing. Uh... <laughs> Just flatten the plane. That is one way of doing it. This ram plow is something that uh, we need for sure because this is doing quite a good, decent job. <laughs> I mean, we just flattened the plane before. Let's see if we can do more damage to the cockpit. Oh, we just got to take the ram with us! <laughs> that is gold! Uh, I didn't expect us to do that with the ramp, but let's try this again and hopefully get more of a decent uh, takeoff here. Alright, we're coming at you, plane. We're going to get a bit more of a decent attempt here as we're trying to uh, destroy this plane we're gonna get more of a uh, direct approach here no we're just gonna take the plane with us and the ramp with us and everything <laughs> the whole cabin is squished there's nothing left of that wait the truck's still driving how's that this defines physics right here folks this really defines physics the whole the whole cabin is literally flying up in the air there's like nothing left of it but it's still operational Go figure. Alright, I thought I'd try something a little bit different and use the plane to launch us into the sky. So we're going to <laughs> use a ramp to launch us into the sky. I can't English. We're going to try this and see how effective this is. We're going to go full power. Use the ramp for takeoff. Holy shit. Okay, actually, surprisingly, went <laughs> really well. Not. That was anticlimactic. I forgot we had to pull up. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's how you do it, folks. That's how you destroy the plane. We're gonna try this once more and really give this, uh, give it all we got. And uh, we're not even going straight to where we need to go. That's awesome. We're gonna try this once more, guys, and we're gonna go for the ramp here and aim for us. This is going to be our launch position here for takeoff. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Holy shiver on fire! Okay, but so far that didn't really do much. Uh, certainly. You need a lot more takeoff speed here to get a proper takeoff. Uh, definitely the ramp. I think we need a bit more power than that. I think this plane requires a lot of power to take off. We almost had it there, actually. We're going to keep trying. We're going to throw this plane into that ramp and hope for the best. I think you just got to, like, really pull it up. So we're going to try this once more. Oh, we almost had it. We 
guys have that? Oh, I don't know. Whoa, look at, we're looking at the roof. That's exciting. Oh, the gun's view. That's actually kind of pretty cool. I can't see where I'm going now. Oh, we missed a ramp altogether. That's... Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to try this once more. I keep saying that, but I really want to see this plane take off on this ramp. That is something that would be very interesting to do. Not in real life. I, you know, that's not really smart. This plane requires a shit ton of uh, power. And I think a lot of runways, well, in, all, in order to take off successfully. Like, we only got like 100 meters worth of runway, really. Almost. Uh, we're gonna, instead of pitching down, we're just gonna maintain that sort of level and hopefully uh, get over the. Get yeah, ourselves over. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> almost had it. We're almost very close. We're just gonna maintain that uh, pitch. And. No. The amount of retakes I've had to do here is insane. I've done at least 30, and this is a cut, so we're going to try this again. See if we can do... Oh, we just lost the propeller. That's not what we wanted to do. Holy shit. Dead. All right, we're going to try this once again. Uh, I don't know what to do anymore. Definitely the ramp is not adequate enough. I think we might have to go back a bit further, so... We'll try that. I'm really tempted to try this out once more and hopefully we can get some more takeoff power. Or not. Ugh. I mean, we tried and failed. I think we just need more runway takeoff clearance here. Um, I don't know what the fuck that is sticking out of the back or the front there. That's weird. It's like a tongue or something. Um, we're going to try this again. I don't know how we're going to go with this, but I think we're just trying... Don't even worry about the ramp. We're just going to try and take off, if possible. Or not. Holy <laughs> shit. I think this plane requires a lot more runway clearance uh, than what we've just given it. So, not less, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Beam and G. We've had some fun going out here and just caused some mess with some vehicles and uh, whatever the fuck we're doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Beam and G. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, all the episodes so far. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you leave us a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the videos. And uh, sorry again for the last couple of weeks where it's been a bit quiet with live streams. I've gone through a bit and been a bit tough. But I hope you enjoyed last uh, Tuesday's live stream. It certainly was awesome to have you guys join out, join us out on the police scene patrol officers. But not less, guys. Until the next time, we are out here causing shit. <laughs> We'll see you next video. Take care.